Hey guys, what's up? H. Jamarzo here with the Tech Cruiser channel. So, OS 10 Mavericks is uh, out into the world roaming free. Uh, I believe the last number that I read was it's already installed on 10% of the Macs that exist out in the, uh, in the wild. And that number was very quick. I believe it was a week after. Now, I'm probably wrong on that. So don't hate me, double check. If you get the right information, the right date, uh, right time frame, let me know, drop it down below. Uh, you know, uh, no problem being corrected with that kind of stuff. So it, it's already installed, I believe it's within a week of uh, being released on 10% of all the Macs out there. Uh, very high adoption rate. Now, a lot of that could be because it was free, it's a free upgrade. And if you're able to upgrade to it, um, you know, why not? Um, overall, you know, I've, I've been running uh, OS 10 Maverick since it came out uh, to public, public release. And, and overall, I haven't really noticed um, a huge speed increase. You know, everybody thinks new software, new operating system, it's going to be faster. It's not always the case. Um, I really didn't notice any speed in increase. What I did notice was uh, the support for multiple monitors, which now is fantastic. You know, with the um, full screen apps, not, you know, you can still use the other monitor, uh, the menu bar and the dock being able to, to go back and forth between screens. So that's phenomenal. Um, things like replying in line to a, to a text message on my, uh, on my desktop is amazing. Uh, what else? The power nap, if you, if you can run that, is amazing. Um, updating automatically. Again, awesome feature. Be careful with that, though. Uh, some things that I haven't really been too keen on is, though it's an, a cool feature, it's really, really cool. Uh, if, if you're very deeply embedded into your social media and, and you know, that kind of thing, um, is they embedded... Uh, social network feeds into the sidebar of Safari. So if someone tweets like, hey, found this fantastic new insert gadget here, check it out, here's the link. You can click on that link from within Safari on the sidebar and it'll take you right to that. So that's amazing that uh, that feature, that I guess it's a feature, is, is available to you. Um, I don't really have use for it. I kind of do my own research and find my own things. So I don't really have a lot of use for that. So, but it's cool that's in there. Um, the real cool, the real interesting thing, the kind of the, the focus of this whole, this whole conversation today is um, the iCloud keychain. Now, if you're running, you know, whatever you're running on, on your computer and your phone, um, you no doubtly have, or you should have, some kind of password manager whether it's one pass, key pass, um, you know, anything. I had, I've been running uh, Dashlane for, for quite a while. Now, it doesn't autofill on iPhone, on iOS, but it does autofill forms on the desktop version, which is cool, but it can be problematic. Sometimes you get forms that uh, it autofills incorrectly. So if you're using that functionality, you want to double check, but overall, it makes signing up for things if you sign up for all kinds of forms and, and free crap and all that kind of nonsense. Uh, it's good. It's, it fills it in automatically. It cuts down the time you have to type it all in because it just populates the fields. Um, however, Safari also does this natively. It fills in your, your information. Um, but with iCloud Keychain, you can sync all of it. Say you have an iPad and an iPhone and a couple of Macs and you run, a, um, you have a Mac at work and it'll sync all of your saved passwords and all that kind of stuff across all of your devices. Now, there's it's supposed to be encrypted uh, with some crazy bit encryption. I think it's 512 bit encryption or 256 bit encryption. Um, so it's very, very secure. Uh, I, from what I've been reading, no, I haven't had any personal experience with this yet, but from what I've been reading, um, Apple will not be able to 
look at or decode any of this kind of information because of the way that it's encoded. It's it's a whole weird technical technical mumbo jumbo stuff and talk and numbers and I'm not that smart. Um, I, I don't know how to figure out all that technical jargon, um, techno babble, whatever. But it's supposed to be very secure. Now I, I'm run, I'm checking it out. I'm giving it a shot. I've enabled it, and I disabled the autofill on my dash lane. I kind of turned off most of the functionality of dash lane so that I can give iCloud Keychain its fair shake. And so far, it's I gotta say it's been way more seamless than dash lane. In order to dash, use Dashlane, you have to log in consistently. You want to run, you want to you know, have Dashlane have you log in automatically, log in, then log in, and log in here, and log in there, and password there, and password there. It's, no, it's really annoying. Uh, if I had to find a negative part about it, that would be the negative part about it. So it's very, very seamless. You start typing, yet you have to start typing a little couple of letters, but then it'll autofill all your information and it does it accurately. I haven't found one autofill type form that wasn't filled out accurately. That being said, it's gonna be interesting to see how secure the iCloud keychain is because that's all your passwords, all your sites and stuff like that. Now I have the ability to go in very quickly and change all of my passwords with totally random generated uh, passwords and let Dashlane handle it entirely, which is a great feature to have. So if anything goes wrong, I very simply just go into Dashlane, re-enable everything, and I'm back up and running with completely randomized passwords. Sorry for the movement, I'm getting out of the car. Um, so uh, that's a great feature. I'm gonna put you on my car. It's a great feature to have. Um, that you can automatically go right back in there, randomize everything, and, and it stores it completely secure up to, I believe, 18 characters. Uh, however, it's bad because if you are not good at remembering randomly generated character lines, you're going to require that software to log into any website or any services that you're using. So keep that in mind as you're going through and checking these services out. Uh, let me know what you think. If, if you're using any of these services already, drop a line down below. Let me know what you think. If you enabled iCloud Keychain, do you have any, uh, any, any thoughts about it? Drop them down below. Um, crazy drivers around here, I don't know. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you've checked it out, if you had a bad experience, drop that down below. In, in turn, if you've had a great experience, let me know, drop it down below, I wanna hear. Let me comment, let me check it out, let me knee deep in the hoopla, as they, uh, as they say. So until next time, keep it real.